Satan, as you know better than most, it's all an illusion. It's an illusion. It's an illusory world. It's a fraud. It's a lie. It's a myth. It's a deception. It's a false front building. It's a mirage. It's a fake. None of it's real. The war on terror, a fraud. The war on drugs, a fraud. Remember the war against poverty? A fraud. The fraud in the White House. The fraud in the Republican Party who's going to run against the Marxist in the White House. It's an illusion. It's a fraud. Even if it were run strictly as it really is run, as a People Magazine popularity contest, you got to hand it to the Republicans. They had to work real hard and, and go way down deep in the bottom of the scum bucket to come up with somebody that couldn't beat the Marxist in the White House. And do you hear any talk, any chatter about the guy in the White House and his birth and his legitimacy to be president? Not a peep. It's all an illusion. It's a fraud. It's a deception. It's a mirage. It's a deceit. I mean, what else could you say? Talking about the legitimacy of the uh, birth certificate and all that kind of thing, uh, that whole subject. Well, whether you like it or not, whether you appreciate this or not, Obama does not need, in fact, to show his birth certificate because actually, lawfully, it's not necessary for him to show the certificate. Uh, and so that's why he doesn't bother, because he knows, like I do, that it's not lawfully required that for him to show his birth certificate to be the President of the United States. And here's why. It's because he's not the President of the United States of America, the Republic. <laughs> he's the President mm -hmm. of a privately owned corporation. corporation it's a yeah. corporation. It's a company. Yep. Well, hell, we got plenty of corporations right here in California in which the president of the corporations are not Americans. They're Japanese or they're Chinese or they're Russians or they're Europeans who happen by chance to be living in Los Angeles who are presidents of their corporations. But they don't have to have a show their birth certificate for them to be the president of their corporation. Japanese, I bet Japanese uh, people who are heads of their corporations here, they don't need to have a, a birth certificate to be the president of their corporation, it's their company. And so that's all the United States is, a corporation. It's a privately owned company, a corporation. Not, a, not the government of America, it's a privately owned corporation, it's a company. And people don't understand that. But you do understand that banks have a president. General Motors has a president. Uh, Ford Motor Company has a president. Baskin Robbins has a president. Sears has a president. All corporations must have a president. So we have a president of a corporation. The corporation was founded. It was incorporated in 1871 by a group of men who formed a privately owned corporation called United States, for God's sake. <laughs> it's a privately owned corporation that became mm -hmm. a municipal corporation, and it's a company. And, and people don't realize that. And so Obama's just a president, like, like uh, my friend who is a president of the bank down here on Ventura Boulevard. He's the president of the bank. Uh, he can be the president of the bank. He doesn't have to show the bank his birth certificate because he's just the president of a company, a corporation. This is what the American people don't understand. Obama's not the president of America. He's the president of a corporation. Period. It's a company. Now, if you really want to get smart, do something really clever. Read a book and start finding out who owns the United States Corporation, incorporated in Delaware, 1871. Who owns the privately owned company? Now you're getting somewhere. Now you're getting to the bottom of the line on how this stuff really works. 
And so I have been talking about all of this for a long time, but people do not understand the United States is not a country. It's a corporation. This is why if you go to us.gov, us.gov, you will see on the web anywhere when you go to any government agency called U.S. government, it will always have a little round circle at the end of the word United States, a little round circle with a C in it. It means it's copyrighted. It's a copyrighted term, United States, like, like Baskin Robbins, Sears, Sears. It's like uh, uh, Ford Motor Company. It's a, it's a copyrighted corporation name. It's a company, for God's sake. Wake up. Obama is the president of a corporation, a company, not the president of America. The president of America, the United States of America, the land of the free and over the brave, that's been gone for a long time, since mm -hmm. 1871. Now, the person who would be the president of the United States of America, the republic, would, would by law have to show that it was, was born here. But you don't have to show anything if you are not the president of the United States. You're president of a corporation. Do uh, you understand what I'm saying? It's all just business. It's just business. A million the people die. Is it's just yeah, business. The, look at They figure you're going to get screwed anyway. Because you're so damn stupid. And you're, and you're never going to uh, do anything on your own to to get yourself out of the mess you're in. So since you're so profoundly... You deserve so what you get. Stupid, you might as well just, you know... So that's why they don't even bother to tell you, because there's nothing you're going to do about it anyway. Nothing you're going to do about it anyway. You've been had. It's over. 17, 1871, it was finished. It was over. All and That's why before 1871... If you remember the old cowboy movies, the old John Wayne cowboy movies, the cowboys could ride into town with their guns on their hips and go in the bar, and if they have a falling out, they could walk out in the street and, uh, and right in front of the sheriff's office. You know, they made movies, the old, uh, the old cowboy movies, where the cowboys could ride into town with their guns. They didn't have to have a permit. They didn't have any police. The reason why you have a police is because the, in 1871, a privately owned company, a corporation, was founded in Delaware. And that corporation cannot make laws, but they do have policy. Like Sears, they have a policy. It's not God's law. It's not the law of the land. It's just Sears, their law. It's called their policy. Got it. So therefore, the corporation called United States, founded in 1871, has their own policy. Mm -hmm. And so the policy is, is, is decided by the politicians and backed up by the police. Police back up the policy of the politicians that work for the corporation. Wake up. It's a new day. The world is owned by our masters. And all I would say is God help the human race because intellectually and spiritually the American people are not only blind and ignorant, but they are bankrupt intellectually and spiritually. No. They have no idea in the world no. No. how any of this stuff really works. No, they were snuffed out some time ago. A long uh, time ago. The media, uh, Hollywood especially, TV, and all the sports, of course, are amazing. I, I just am amazed at how effective it all has been. It's you incredible. just take children... Expose them to commercial television from the age of a few months, whatever. The first time you put your kid in front of that TV, it's over. It's over. The kid yep, will the never Jesuits come back. Used, yeah, the Jesuits used to have a saying, give me a child till he's seven years old, he's mine forever. That's it. That's right. I didn't think they need seven anymore because of the pace. The inculcating yep, right. of obedience and stupidity yep is being done at such a pace now, it is so witheringly fast, that I'd say they could do it in four or five years without much trouble Probably at all. So. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and, but the problem is they're doing it with the people who are willing. The people love it. They can't get enough of, of Obama. They love him. Yeah. He's cool. They love it. They can't he, get enough cool. of it. 
he's cool.